this is code.org. If you don't have anything over here, like my awesome dying alien, um, you should go back and do the other parts of the section of this lesson. Jumping. Next, the player sprite needs to jump. Oh, good. We don't have to die anymore. That will be nice. Needs to jump when the user presses the up arrow. Do this. Find the comment. Player controls. Zoop. Now, keep in mind, a comment is never read by the computer. It's just skipped. The computer ignores it. It's like a blank line. Programmers will leave messages on large projects for each other in a comment, like, hey, this is what this is doing, or don't touch this, I'm still working. They're helpful, and that's what they're doing for us now. Player controls. Add a conditional if block that checks whether the user is pressing the up arrow key. Okay, so add a conditional. That's an if block, and we want to know if the user is doing something. So let me go to control here, and inside control, we have an if. And that's the conditional. What do we want to know if the user is pressing the up arrow key? So the computer would respond, that would be a Boolean, right? The computer can say true, the user is pressing the up arrow key, or false, the person is not. So let's go over to world and see if we can find that block. Uh, is pressing? Is pressing. So that would be if it's down, I think. It could be went down, but I'm going to try down. So... If the user is pressing the up key down, the sprite's velocity to move up if the up arrow is pressed. If the up arrow is pressed. Okay, add code inside the conditional that will change the sprite's velocity to move up if the up arrow is pressed. All right, so now we check if the up arrow is pressed. So now we need to change the velocity if it is. Now, how do we want to do this? Do we want to use a counter pattern or do we want to suddenly change it? Well, let's test. So now keep in mind, I'm going to reset here. Y down here is 316, Y up here is 66. So to move up, we need to do a negative number. We don't have a sprite though, we have a player. That's the name of my variable, probably the name of yours. Way up here, right there, great, all right. And then what velocity, I'm gonna start with negative one and see how I like it. Now you'll notice if I just hold this, it just flies up. So that could be kind of game ruining. I am not sure. I would assume that they want is is down. Key went down maybe, and then they have to repress it. Ah, let's try key went down. Now I don't move at all. Hmm. So either of these actually work. I think I'm just going to change the speed. So that I actually like more. Now keep in mind, what's happening here is the computer is saying if the key went down. Now instead of key went down, because this way I can just hold it, and if I hold it, I'll go up. This way I, they have to keep tapping the key. Now the computer will respond with true or false. Right now it would be false, I'm not holding the up key, right? But if I hit press the up key down, and only if I press the up key down, the computer will say true. Once this is true, the computer changes the y velocity to negative 5. And that will make me go up because this is 0y and this is 400y. So a negative y velocity starts pushing me up. The reason I start going back down is because I still have the force upon the player that we are added up here, the falling, right? So even though they hit up, I'm still going to slowly go back down because we're adding to the y velocity. So we get this jump effect. So remember, a conditional, an if statement, the code inside only runs if this is true right here. If this is false, if this is not true, it just skips over. Our velocity doesn't go negative and we don't go up. We keep going down. Ah! Awesome. Onward.